When watching TikTok videos, you could find a reverse trend type of video that has swept all over. Well, this video is created using the reverse feature to create a sense of rhythm and bizarre feeling. Listen to me now. So if you want to know how to quickly achieve such effect using VideoPop Vlogger, then keep watching our video. First, open VideoPop Vlogger. And if you don't have it stored on your computer yet, free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. Create a new project. Here I have prepared a few videos of the CD scenes and a piece of music. Import them into the software. Next, we drag the music into the audio track. Listen to it and find the rhythm. Here is the intro, and from here is where we're going to do the reverse edit. So we we'll use a shortcut M to mark it. Let's go back and Anissa. Listen to me now. Then, cut out the second half of the music that we don't lead. And add a fade out effect to it in the inspector. Now we are done with marking the rhythm points. First, we drag a video into the video track. Adjust its duration in accordance with the music intro. Next, we drag in another video to the video track. Listen to the music. Listen to me now. Here we have a line of lyrics. And we can use a split tool to cut up part of the video to match your lyrics first. We can then start to do the reverse edit. This whole reverse effect is actually the interlacing of placing the normal state of the whole video and the reverse version of the video. We're back to the interface. What we need here is just to follow the music beat and use the Lex Frame feature at the bottom of the preview window to move forward 10 frames. Cut out this section. Delete the rest of the content. Copy it with the shortcut Ctrl C. Paste it again a couple of times. And you can have 7 identical frames like this. What we are going to do next is to keep these 3 clips in their normal state. Then, add a reverse play effect for these 3 segments. And let them remain alternately. Thus, we select the second video first. Find a reverse play in the inspector. Check the box. And you are done with this part. Then, select the other 2 clips in turn to do the same thing. Let's have a preview here. Listen to me now. We're pretty good. Finally, drag and drop to adjust the length of this video. Make it align with this marker on the music. Now we're done with editing this part. Let's go ahead and drag in a new video to the timeline. To make the video more rhythmic, I will split the latter part of the video here. Select the first half. Find the play speed error in the inspector. Select the process speed for it. This will give a variable transition between the different clips. Then, use the same method for the second half to complete the editing. After editing all the clips, it will come out like this. Listen to me now.
Now, I will start with the intro section of the video. Find the motion icon in the toolbar. In the motion editor, find the cinematic open. Click on it, and you will get effect immediately. But I think the rhythm is a little bit slow. So let's adjust the keyframes. Drag the second keyframes backwards. Let it unroll slowly. And then delete the third keyframe. Drag this keyframe forward so that the effect end earlier. Finally, I will change the speed of the second keyframe. Preview the effect. Click Apply to return to the interface if you're satisfied. Other than that, click on Effects in the top left corner. Drag this rag effect to the effect track. Adjust the duration based on your preference. And you can also add music corresponding to the back. Now we are done with the whole editing. Listen to me now. Well, this is all for today's video. And try it out for your own video creation. Anyway, don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.